hello i am dr shijo antony and uh, after living 14 years uh, abroad in europe and the usa i have come back to india last year and i have taken up this duty as the dean of academics in depaul college i have uh, done two doctorates one in international law from spain and in positive psychology from the usa I have worked in Vatican City. I have worked in Alaska. I learned many languages, traveled to more than 40 countries, met people, learned their culture, accompanied various groups, and that has enriched me, especially in family and youth counseling, to help people in various ways to come up in life, especially they are struggling with. learning positive psychology was a turning point especially where my paper was highlighted on post traumatic growth that i could really understand people and the trauma that they were going through and later being board certified by the american positive psychology i could officially practice it anywhere and so i have uh, accompanied people in various stages of their life different age groups and uh, continue to give seminars and workshops and teachers training and staff orientation programs in various institutes and here in depaul uh, one of the primary thing i do take care is the emotional issues of the students especially students with uh, family issues and broken families and the study problems and i'm happy to be here to accompany and to um follow our students and staff and and in various ways so i'm happy here and uh, i feel my life is uh, meaningful and fruitful being in depaul college especially the dean of academics so what inspired you to pursue a career in higher education administration and what drew you to your current role as a dean um In fact I was uh, not a bright student in my school days I have struggled to pass the exams and uh, later uh, I realized the value of education and how much it can help I had a passion for learning and that continues still today and uh, I got an opportunity to go abroad for first studies and I continued that and uh, psychology was my passion and uh, that's what has helped me personally for my growth and development as an individual and that's what i want to others also to benefit from so that is my passion for education especially for psychology that motivated me to pursue my studies and to reach up to this level one of the issues uh, i found after coming back to india especially post covid times children have lost their interest in studies they have no motivation and even if they have some issues they hesitate to come and talk to us and get help sometimes they are not aware that uh, they can re- get real help and uh, become better individuals and improve their studies so lack of motivation and interest in education and uh, going higher in life with a goal is uh, one of the challenges that i see today in the youth so what are your primary responsibilities as dean and how do you balance them with other aspects of the job um the primary responsibility is uh, coordinating the different departments meeting with hrds and uh, working out the program and uh, checking the syllabus uh, coverage and meeting personally the students following following up with their parents about their attendance about their marks percentage so all this comes under my duty and so it's always a collaboration with the um, hods mainly and uh, faculties in this college primarily it is um, the being connected with each faculty and knowing what is happening in this institution that can help us to um coordinate the programs and uh, address the different challenges we face um though i have different programs uh, outside of this institution i always make sure that i am not out of the office more than 10 days 
and come back here, check the records timely, especially on weekends, I check all the records and sign them. And if I find anything that is to be corrected, I call each faculty personally and address that issue. I also call the students personally and address the issues if they, there's any. So in this way, I try to balance my time and the duties I have in this institution and outside. So how do you approach decision making in your role? Um, decision making is a teamwork. We are three fathers here as a core team of the college and we have a management, we have an educational board and primarily when it comes to the immediate decisions it is three of us, the core team members who sit together and decide things and in, in, during the decision making one of the uh, things that we highlight or take uh, as uh, important is uh, being compassionate and kind in situations, in understanding the situation. Because sometimes we don't know what people may be going through. So always we look at uh, different uh, aspects of the same issue and try to understand if it is students or teachers or the issue itself, how to address them always with uh, compassion and kindness. And so it's a teamwork and we always sit together, discuss, share information about what is happening here and uh, we decide it. Describe any specific measures or programs that the institution has implemented to address the raising mental health issues that stress among the students in India. Um, here uh, in our institution, in DePaul College, we have uh, two professionally certified psychologists. And both have doctorates, in, one in clinical psychology from Philippines and another in, from the USA. And both are professionally certified and we make sure that we meet the students and uh, even when teachers report issues, we address them. And so counseling is open for teachers and students anytime. So that is one of the help that we offer here. Secondly, we have a one-to-one -one mentoring program and each teacher is assigned 10 to 12 students and every semester they have to meet them at least two times and uh, sub submit the report and then we follow up if any students need a professional help. So in this way we are able to understand our students and teachers are able to understand uh, their students and uh, accompany them in all their moments especially during their time here in this college. So any suggestions you would like to give to the young youth and the current uh, students? Okay. Um, always we have to have a personal passion for what we are doing. Love something that we like to do and follow the dreams. So goal is a primary thing always we should have in life. What we want to be and what we want to achieve in life that will always keep us going in even in different difficult moments. And another point is we have to be positive. Life is not always uh, a positive thing. There can be many challenges, many difficult times and uh, life is not happy just because everything is going okay. But the important thing that we have to learn in life is how to face a challenge when we come across them. Otherwise our book learning may not help us. Sometimes we go, we have to go into practical uh, points of our life and learn to face the challenges which we may not learn in our books. So always we have to approach life from different perspectives, have a meaning, learn the meaning of life. Meaning can change by time, year, but always keep the ultimate goal in front of you and move ahead facing all the challenges that come across. But always remember the values that you hold on to will help to be what you are as a person, what you are as a citizen and what you do in life. Because after some time you will realize that money is not everything in life. So we should have some values, core values that we hold on to life as a human being, as together as a humanity, especially being kind and compassionate.